Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson and here is the seafood news for the week of April 27th, 2020. In this week's episode, we provide a COVID-19 food service update, an update on what seafood is being purchased, and we also advise on what seafood product you should be stocking in reserve right now as a seafood buyer. This episode is brought to you by our Sinbad Platinum brand. Sinbad Platinum is our all-natural, premium quality brand that is produced in North America. Our Platinum brand is our highest quality value added line, only once frozen with zero additives. Find out more on our website at tradexfoods.com slash ourbrands. Amidst food service companies adapting to change by launching consumer direct grocery services, like Cisco Canada's newest launch, Cisco at Home, could the reality of dine-in restaurant services opening back up actually be in our near future? Although Georgia Governor Brian Kemp's plan for dine-in services to resume as early as April 27th was met with some backlash, a recent public health briefing from Canada might be the light in the tunnel we've been waiting to see. Getting back to work is something that we are all looking forward to. We are looking ahead and thinking about getting back to school, getting back to seeing our family and our friends again. But now is the time to start thinking about how do we do this safely with our precautions in place and making sure we have those in place to protect those who are most likely to have severe illness from this disease. Uh, there, there needs to be guidance that we are putting out uh, that talks about how do we best protect the safety of those who are working there, people who are involved in it, and it, importantly as well, our families and our communities here in BC. So within those parameters of how we make sure that we're not um, setting up a situation where we're going to have lots of, of contact between people that will then um, allow for spread in our community. Those are the things that are most important. And, you know, I talked about this yesterday with the restaurant industry. I'm looking to industry to say, how can we do that within those parameters for the coming months? Recognizing that this is not forever. This is until we reach a point where we can get back to um, a much more normal. And that has to do with um, the, the amount of immunity in our population and the behavior of the virus over time. So we've said it before, a lot of it depends on having a vaccine and that's what's going to protect us the most. But between now and then, there's ways that we can open up our communities, open up our, our businesses and still maintain that important safety factor that protects us all. Moving on to an update on what seafood is moving in this current market. Sockeye continues to be sought after by consumers. We are hearing that retail supermarket sales are strong and companies are stocking up on supply due to speculation of a limited 2020 sockeye season. Inventories of 2019 sockeye are getting depleted and the 2020 season is still not yet fully organized. And as Norman Van Vactor, Executive Director of the Bristol Bay Economic Development Corporation, put it, a best case scenario is seemingly reduced production when referencing the 2020 Alaskan salmon fishery. Our recommendation here is that now is definitely the time to stock up on 2019 product that is still available and book in your orders for 2020. Moving on to halibut again this week, and it's no surprise to see that fresh sales of halibut are few and far between. Fresh halibut sales are typically dominated by food service, and besides some major change promoting fresh halibut, consumers are just not purchasing this premium product right now, which has caused processors to freeze halibut earlier in the season than usual. However, when one door closes, another door opens. In some parts of the nation, we may see dining and restaurant services resume sooner than expected in what health officials are now calling the new normal. As new season halibut continues to be harvested and put into freezers, now is the time to stock up on halibut and at fantastic prices. Our recommendation here is to talk to your Tradex Foods representative to plan out a halibut program for your business. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson reminding you to stay safe, buy smart, and eat more seafood.